In today's video, I'm reviewing Space Crew. It was developed by Runner Duck and published by Curve Digital. Space Crew is the brand new sequel to acclaimed strategic survival simulation game Bomber Crew. Now this game I never actually played and there's part of me that wishes that I had. It did take me quite a while to get into this as I wasn't too sure what to do at first. Even with the instructions on screen I still felt a little bit lost because there was so much information that I needed to take in. You need to manage your resources and all your crew abilities to stop the aliens invading your ship. Also, you need to repair your systems, tackle fires and take evasive action. If you don't do this, your ship will be going down. You can make the crew your own. There's all different loadouts, there's all different customizable equipment, change their appearance, you can even change their names. The customization doesn't just stop with the crew, you can actually customize the spaceship as well. So that's from the weapons, the armor, the engines, escape pods, the liveries. So you can actually change the outside and you can make it your own as well. So you can add stickers or you can change the colors. Whilst traveling through the galaxy, you need to try and defeat the aliens that you come into contact with. You also need to go through asteroid fields and there's harmful radiation freezing vacuum from space and also black holes will pose a danger to your crew. There's all types of single player missions in this. There's renaissance missions, bounty hunt missions, reclamation missions and plus there's many more as well. What I really enjoyed was that I could actually play with the settings of this. So I could actually put my focus onto my weapons and onto my shields. And if I was getting attacked by the aliens, I'd be able to take them out quicker. And you could also change it so you could put more power onto your engines or take more power off. So say if you needed to go into hyperdrive, like to fly away, you could do this as well. Whilst in space, the aliens will attack you and they will try and board your ship. And if they do, they come in pairs, so you will need one of your crew members to pick up a gun and they will need to take them out. As you complete missions, your crew level up. So what I'd say is try to keep that same crew. Try not to let them die, because if you do, you do have to start again from level one. Best advice I could give you for playing this game is create a decent crew, go out and do as many missions as you can, get as much money like the tokens that you can, put that into your ship, Put that into your crew and upgrades and you're going to be able to play this game very easily. If you're looking for a game to pass the time, definitely pick this one up. I lost so many hours playing this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.